Hello everybody, nice to see you. I hope that you had a wonderful weekend. Happy Sunday night or Monday morning, depending on when you're tuning in, or happy whatever day it is when you happen to check out this video. Um, the book that I'm reading today, my grade one class is gonna be using it all week as they do their activities from their online school. But for those of you tuning in from our squad who aren't in our grade one class, I think you're also really gonna like this book. It's a beautiful book and a lot of people know the author quite well. Um, the author has written books like Goodnight Moon and Runaway Bunny, which are two of my son William's favorite books. We read them many, many, many times. And I'm sure lots of you have read those books by Margaret Wise Brown. And today the book I'm going to share with you is called Another Important Book. And I really, really like this one. Margaret Wise Brown has a book called The Important Book. If you haven't read that one before, I highly recommend you check it out. But this one is called Another Important Book. And if you look at the cover, it gives you some clues about what the book might be about. The pictures are by Chris Rashka and they are amazing. I really, really love, um, I really love Chris's work. So here we go. Ooh, a little dust bunny in there. Why not? Another important book. The important thing about being one is that life has just begun. You can't quite talk. You can't quite walk. You found your nose and discovered your toes. You've seen the moon and felt the sun. But the important thing about being one is that life has just begun. The important thing about being two is all the things that you can do. The iPad, the book is there. <laughs> you can walk, talk, and sneeze, and wheeze, and laugh, and tease, and cough, and dance, and jump, and prance, and cry, and run, and have some fun. Look at all those two-year-olds. And the important thing about being two is all the things that you can do. The important thing about being three is being me. William is three right now and it's very important to him that he is me. Who is it that can open their eyes and see? Me. Who knows the difference between a pig and a tree? Me. Who runs around as busy as a bee? Me. Who is funny and not a bunny? Me. <laughs> Look at that. Aren't the pictures so great? But the important thing about being three is being me. The important thing about being four is that you are bigger than you were before. Now at four, you can open the door. You've grown a lot, you'll grow some more. You can blink and think as quick as a wink. You can open your eyes to a world of surprise. You can run and race everywhere. You can sing and fling your arms in the air. But the important thing about being four is that you are bigger than you were before. The important thing about five and six is that you learn a lot of tricks. You learn how to count, you learn how to read, you learn how to dress and get what you need. You can almost tell time you can speak in rhyme. But the important thing about five and six is that you learn a lot of tricks. Each day you grow a little more. Each day you're older than before. At one, your life has just begun. At two, there's so much you can do. At three, you discover me. At four, you're bigger than you were before. And five and six, you learn some tricks. But the important thing about six, five, four, three, one, and two 
is that you are you. That's the important thing. The important thing every day is that you are you. And I hope that this story made you smile and it made you laugh. I, ho I also hope that it made you think about, hmm, what was life like when I was one and two and three and four and whatever age that you are now? What are the things that happened to you? What are the things that you knew or did or learned when you were one and two and three and four and five and all the ages that you are, all the ages that you've been? So maybe you want to ask your parents for, for funny stories or your families or whoever it is that you live with, your grandparents or aunts or uncles or whoever takes care of you. Maybe you can say, hey, what are some things that happened when I was one, when I was two, when I was three? One of my favorite things to do for William is every year on his birthday, I write him a poem. And in the poem, I try to include some things that happened in the year uh, before um, so that he's got memories of what I <laughs> felt was important when he was one and two and three. And I'm sure that as he gets older, he'll be able to tell me what he thinks is important and I will most certainly listen. Um, I hope you enjoyed another important book. You are all extremely important to me. And as you know, at the end of every video, I say, Miss Sweetman loves you because I do. And I want you to know that you're extremely important to me. You're important to the people in your life. And um, we miss each other when we're not together. But we get to hang out at story time. And I know for me, it makes me feel really great. So I hope that you have a wonderful week ahead. I hope you have a wonderful night. If you're watching this before bed, you tuck yourself in and you say goodnight to the moon. Um, just like we do every night. So Miss um, Sweetman loves you very much. And I'll see you soon. Bye.